Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahuwah, Yahushua, this is sounds from YYBY. So let's get straight to the point. We know in reasons you can't save. It's no option to save a track, a uh, vocal track. You know, it's no option. We looked everywhere. You right click on the track. You can, you know, you can't save what you set. And, um, You can save a preset, but that's not good enough. And what I mean is that let's say you tweak these a certain way, turn this on, turn this on. Like me, for example, I got, I have a gate set perfectly for vocals. So when the vocals come in, you won't hear all the, the background noise, the hissing and all that. It cuts all that out. I set it perfect where it don't cut the vocals off. So when I do record, no, no, I'm sorry. Once I finish recording the vocals and it's time for me to clean the tracks, I really don't have to do too much cleaning because this gate already on the vocals and I could just, you know, uh, clean a little bit, but you got to set it perfect. To where it don't cut the vocals off. And now that's why I like when uh Reasons got the gate expander. It's a different way. If you just turn this off, it cuts it off completely real quick when you say something. Cut it off real quick. Very, very quick. All right, so also, you know, you said once you set your EQ a certain way, if you like to set your compressor, I have my gain turned up more. The reason why I got my gain turned up more because I have the mic volume lower than the average person who say, you know, uh, who, who said they vocal, they mic volume when they recording vocals. I have it a little lower. They, 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 they always tell you to have it around, um, you know, like 10 dB, 7 dB. Everybody got their own ways of doing it. But the reason why I don't want it that high because when an artist get too loud, it peaks. So, and I never want the input to peak. So I turn that down around 20 dB. So no matter how loud they get, the artist still can do what they want to do, express themselves. But I bring the rest of that volume back on the game right here. So that's why I got that set that way. Okay, so now. How I save this, what I do, okay, this is my recording track. This is my recording session. So now open up, you know, uh, you know, reasons. This is the first thing open. It's, it's basically a 24 track. I can add more, make a copy of this track and copy it down, whatever, how you want to do it. I can right click, you know, and press copy channel settings, whatever, which one it is I want to copy, you know, and then press paste on the track. And then it'll copy that information there. But normally, a lot of the times, I don't go over 24 tracks when I'm recording vocals. You know, unless you deal with somebody who really like to record a lot of tracks, like an R&B singer or something like that. But most people don't go no more than 10, 11, 12, 13 tracks. So, but anyway. So, what I do, I save this as a template, right? So, as you can see, when I go to my template songs, I have a beat template. A master template, a mixing template, a recording template. My recording template when I'm recording people. Mixing and when somebody hit me up and say, hey, uh, can you mix and master this song for me? That's my template. Uh, well, you, can you mix this template? Can you mix it for me? If they want me to master, I have a master template. Now, in my beat template, I have this same vocal track. Let me open it up. I have this same vocal track, as you can see, save right here. I already got it backed up, already got it planned. So just in case I make a beat, I make a designer beat and everything, and somebody say, hey, yo, yo man, uh, I got a quick idea. I want to record some quick vocals to it. You know, uh, 
you know, artists in the moment and they got they got an idea. They want to record a song. They got their words for the song, the beat already. The beat not mixed down, but they just want to get the words on there. Okay, cool. I already got this track. All I got to do is just duplicate this. I could just duplicate this. You know, duplicate it. Now I got the same preset for that track. It's just that simple. Yeah, it's a little extra step, but if you already save it in your template, you straight. Until they just come up with, you know, a feature where you could just, you know, right click and just save that and then, you know, get it out the way. And when you're ready to bring it in, you just go to a preset and just select vocal track. You know, like I got vocal track like this, but when I save it, hold on, let me get it right. Actually, I got the new way for y'all also, people. Check this out. Check this out. So that's one way I do it. Okay. Another way I did it. Let me get this right. Uh, 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 uh. Hold on, did it save it like that? I think I never changed it. Did I save it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try it again. Let me let me double check. Make sure I did it right. Because I think I was about to do it, but I just never got around to it. The vocal track combi. Did I save it? I I never got to. Okay. Let me make sure. Let me double check. All right. So I think I got a better way that can help you a lot. I think it worked because I, I was testing and I never got around to it. And by me just doing this, just made me think about it. Hold up. So let me uh let me get that out the way. Let me get this out the way. And this is my original vocal track. Is it? Hold on. I think I just grabbed the one line. So if you get the vocal track, set it and tweak it the way you can. And throw a combinator in there and then save it as a patch like how I did right here then you can save that vocal track with your presets on here just like this so that's two ways you can do it yes there's two ways you can do it so let's uh but I'm, I'm trying to understand why it's not it's not dropping in here when I drop, when I add it, it's not, uh, no, let me go back. Not that. It must be a bug or something, because when I drop it back in, it won't show the presets. Hold up. Hmm.
So open this up. All right, so now I'll go to vocal track. Let me, let me double, let me make sure. You save that. So, matter of fact, let me add a. Let me add an audio track. And then go to my preset. See if it's set it that way. Nah, it's not doing it. I know it's a bug or something. But, um. But what I'm trying to show you all is that. Is that what I end up doing is using the combinator. Once I set the vocal track the way I want it to set. I end up using the combinator. And saved it. Because right here you can't save. This track as a preset. Which they should already add that. I don't know what's going on with them. But. When I saved it as a preset like this on the vocal track. You know. Uh. You know, it saved my presets of uh, recording my vocals. So I'm going to go in more detail of that and see what's really going on. Maybe it's a bug, but I will get back with that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, if you like the video, like it, share and subscribe. This is YYBY.